Getting an accurate cup-to-disc ratio is very useful for assessing a patient's risk of pathology or for evaluating whether their pathology is progressing, especially in glaucoma. Having repeatable and consistent measurements is essential. But did you know, when recording cup-to-disc ratios, not only are practitioners inconsistent with each other, they are also inconsistent with themselves. So how do you go about getting a more accurate CD ratio? There are a few methods. The simplest is to compare against a visual grading scale. There is one available on the OT website, and this can be a great way to improve your record keeping. With experience, you may find you rely less on measurements, but if you've been estimating ratios for a long time, it's a good idea to recalibrate by referring to a chart like this. You can see it uses a traffic light system. It shows you the spread of CD ratios found in various optic nerve sizes in non glaucomatous eyes. The CD ratios in the red zone are the 99th percentile. Only 1% of non glaucomatous eyes have a CD ratio of this size. The amber zone is the 95th percentile. There are very few normal optic discs with CD ratios this high. The green zone is the 50th percentile, so these are likely to be normal. So the size of the disc will adjust how concerned you should be about a CD ratio. A smaller disc with a large cup is more likely to be abnormal than a large disc with a large cup. Let's explore why. Consider a finite number of neurons passing through the optic nerve head or scleral canal. The larger the canal, the more the neurons can spread apart, leaving a larger cup in the middle. Note that larger discs do tend to have a few more neurons, but also that the number of neurons does decrease naturally with age. How do you know the size of the optic nerve? You can get an approximate measurement of the disc and cup using a slit lamp by a microscope and a high-powered condensing lens, commonly known as a Volk lens. To measure the vertical disc size, aim your slit beam at the disc or just next to it and adjust the height of the beam to match the superior and inferior disc margins. Then read off the height of the disc from the scale on the slit lamp. To get the height in millimetres, you need to multiply your measurement by a different factor depending on which lens you used. These are on screen now. Most optic discs will be between 1.2 and 1.8 millimetres. So if your corrected value falls outside this range, the disc is either unusually large or small. Generally speaking, myopes tend to have larger discs, hyperopes tend to have smaller discs. Repeat the process to measure the size of the cup. Once you have both measurements, you can calculate the ratio between the two. For example, a disc size of 1.2 mm and a cup size of 0.6 mm would be a ratio of 0.5. You can, of course, measure the horizontal disc and cup size by rotating the beam. Be aware that your measurement in millimetres is not 100% accurate. Your result will vary with high amotropia and how far you hold the lens away from the eye. However, your cup to disc ratio will still be valid. Another way of gauging disc size is with your direct ophthalmoscope. Use the 5 degree or medium size spot of your ophthalmoscope and hover over the disc, noting how much of it falls within or outside the beam. This method isn't as accurate but can be used to judge whether a disc is large or small. An OCT or optical coherence tomographer can measure disc size and calculate CD ratios for you. This is fairly accurate, but be aware that different manufacturers' machines may give you different values. You do need to assess the image for yourself to ensure the instrument has determined the boundaries sensibly. It can misjudge it if the view were impeded by a small pupil or media opacities, or if the patient moved a lot. Let's recap. A smaller disc with a large cup is more likely to be abnormal than a large disc with a large cup. To measure a disc size and get the CD ratio, first measure the vertical disc size and multiply by your correction factor. Measure the vertical cup size and multiply by your correction factor. Divide the cup size by the disc size to get your CD ratio. You should then consider if the ratio is normal for the size of the disc. You can do this by checking the OT guide.